pull up my big Instapot Lindsay. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. Please don't give up on me. At least give me a try. Cause you're the best thing, the best thing. You're the best thing that I've ever had. You're the best thing, the best thing. You're the best thing. starting our dinner for today. I am making chicken pot pas soup. So I'm going to get everything ready. Um, the recipe that I have, give me a second, Matt's calling. Okay, so I was getting all the ingredients out. I'm convinced, if you watched yesterday's vlog, I'm missing a can of tomato paste. I am convinced that the can of tomato paste is with the other can of cream and chicken. It's only one and cream and chicken left. Which makes no sense because I bought two and I know I bought two. <sighs> Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna start getting on all the stuff ready. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna put the sauces in first just so that it kind of. <sighs> just so that the. I'm gonna kind of make this my own because. Well, I don't wanna make it too thick though. I'll have two cans. Okay, we're gonna have to figure this out. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's put this cream of chicken in. Oh, and for anyone who's wondering, I don't have an actual crock pot. I have my Instapot, which has a slow cook feature on it. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm just gonna throw this whole thing in here and see how it goes. Okay. So put in a full thing of this, that's 900 milliliters. Alexa, what's 900 milliliters into cups? 900 milliliters is about 3.8 US cups. 3.8. Alexa, what's 240 or 84 milliliters into cups? This is new. Here's something I found on the web. According to TrimeDownClub.com, fluids and semi-fluids, such as yogurt, ice cream, 8 ounces equals 1 cup or 240 milliliters if you have designated that you are in the U.S. Fruits and vegetables will appear in cups. Okay, my camera's gonna die so I'm gonna figure this out. Give me a minute. Okay, so... I chopped all the onions. I'm gonna throw them in there. It looks kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I don't know. I'm... I'm I am... Experimenting. <laughs> Most of the time when I experiment, my things turn out good. Um, the kids usually love when I experiment with stuff. So, today is my experimenting day. Um, so I'm done the onions, I gotta do the carrots and the celery and then throw all those in. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. everything as well as like the chickens in there uh, so it's four chicken breasts that I put in there I put about three carrots I did about half the package of frozen peas like just the small package three things of celery two onions I put some garlic salt and some Italian seasoning in there too um, so now I'm gonna turn it on I just gotta pull up my big instapot Lindsay turn and this on okay so slow cook it said for eight hours. We're gonna see, actually we're gonna do it for six. Cause what time is it? Uh, five. Five hours. 
So we're going to do this on, how do I do this on hot? That means working. I've never used this feature on my Instapot before. I'm going to assume that means it's working though. Okay. Okay, so now it's cooking and we're gonna check back in five hours, which will be about 6.30, which will be a good time for dinner to be finished. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Okay, so I've had a little bit. It's pretty good. It's different. Um, yeah. So that's it for this vlog. I made the weird soup. It did not work in the crock pot. I don't understand how to use my Instapot. Because my chicken was still raw when we were done after six hours, so. Anyways. Sorry, I'm playing World of Warcraft while I'm eating. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and like and comment on this video and I'll talk to you guys after.